What is up everybody? It's your boy Jim and I am back again with a video I've been very excited to do actually. Uh, we are using a new team today that we actually built on our previous showdown ranking stream that I'm very excited to actually show to you guys off stream. It is a protosynthesis drought team but it's got some interesting stuff to it and one of the things I actually wanted to highlight in this video was the um, was the Espeon. So this guy is an amazing Pokemon. Um, so we built this thing around the idea that we get off a of stored power. We get off a of Sal like Berry Boost because we are going to need some extra speed because of the speed creep. And we then we have some other fun things. We have the Weather Ball, a normal type attack that can go Terra Normal. But in another case, it can work with the Drought and it can be very fun to use with that too. And then we got the Morning Sun and the Calm Mind. So the kind of idea and what we've been working around is we get down to a perfect point. We get the Sal like Berry Boost. Um, we get some sort of Calm Mind and then we go Morning Sun. And we're very bulky at that rate. So it's a very fun, it's a very fun team setup. And then we have our typical Drought Torkoal, the Goldengo, and just some other mods to kind of counter itself out. Um, obviously, Goldengo being here because we do have a steel, we do have a weakness to um, Fairy, so it definitely helps out. And it's just a very fun team in general that I wanted to show you guys. So um, I want to try to get off an Espeon sweep today because it is very fun to use. It's definitely a, um, it's definitely not something that works great in the higher ladder but it's definitely interesting so here we go here's a team that um could either be very good or very bad i see a lot of potential for roaring moon um they've got three dragons a landorus so if we had ice on this team it would be freaking incredible but um i think i'm a lead torkoal they don't really have something that wants to um you know stay in on this guy so let's go torkoal um i don't see espion doing much in this battle mainly because that hydragon and um scissor are there to cause us some problems we could probably go for a um, will-o-wisp right here though i feel like yep he's setting up his rocks we're gonna get a burn off so kind of just making this pokemon utterly useless at this point we get off our own rocks um well i might want to rapid spin nah we'll, we'll be fine we'll be fine he's actually setting us up for some um He's setting us up for some great work here. So I'm going to go... I'm going to go Earth Power. He's going to miss. That is beautiful. Um, he is special though, which does kind of suck for that. Um, He could be mixed. Yeah, he's mixed. There we go. There's the EQ. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Um, So he's got Stealth Rock, Draco Meteor, and Earthquake. But he is, he is at minus special attack. So I don't know if that's going to... Um, I could go walk and wake right here. I could go walking wake on that special tag boost. And honestly, walking wake is going to put in some work right now. Um, so we will get the boost anyway after this is all said and done. So I'm going to go Hydro Steam. Just get this Garchomp out of here. If it wasn't, like I said, I really want to get that Hydreigon and Scizor, but it's not going to matter too much in the grand scheme of things. I want to send out also Roaring Moon, but I, I feel like Roaring Moon just isn't great with these rocks right here. Um, there's a Metagross. Um, Metagross is probably trying to get some Bullet Punch chip off. I'm going to go Flamethrower for that. Uh, bring it down to 9. That is a good chunk. That is a good chunk. He goes Thunder Punch. Okay. Okay, um, we'll just go Flamethrower. Maybe um, don't reveal the Draco Meteor. Hopefully he holds off on the um, Dragonite or the, the Hydreigon. We will see. Okay, so he does just go right into Hydreigon. Okay, so that puts us in a weird predicament. Um, by the way, we are Terra Fairy. is more of a defensive Terra. Not really anything we're trying to scoff at. Um, Hydro Steam is not going to be very effective. I'm better off just going for a Draco Meteor. Um... This is going to lower my special attack, bring it down to 226, which is not great. He does actually just forfeit. Okay. Okay, um, so there we go. There's a forfeit. Um, not the Espeon, but it does show that if you send out the right Mon after Torkoal, like Torkoal's just there to set up. He's there to put in work. We have, um, so this is going to suck because we actually have some unaware right here. Glamora's almost indefinitely coming out first. Earth Power will be great for that, and we could probably set up something of Roaring Moon or... We'd have, uh, we'll, we'll want to send out Great Tusk after. So maybe we don't want to go to... Oh, I was going to say, maybe don't go Toral. Just go straight into Great Tusk because then we'll take advantage of that drought. But, um... Okay, that's interesting. Um, Let's go Earth Power. I know it's bulky on the special front. Um, Not that bulky, though. It's going to go down just like that. I'm going to set up... Um, I'm going to set up my own rocks. Even though we're probably just going to rapid spin. 
Let's get him out of here. He's gonna poison us, get off a mortal spin, and then whatever he sends out after, unless it's Skelkridge, I don't think it will be, but Um is gonna not wanna tank whatever Tor Oh, he's probably going slow king. It won't do a lot though, so an overheat might just put in the work even against one. I'm actually curious. I'm actually curious. If he sends out slow king right now, how much would our torque will just do on a sun boost? Oh, he goes say Titan. That's he does have oh that's a thick fat um should we just will-o-wisp him i'm gonna go will-o-wisp because water types yeah we made a good play right there um not that it matters because he's just gonna get the eq um he is 269 probably yeah he's a he's definitely that 269 um let's go goldengo um ah oh, that earthquake that was gonna do so much damage um I'm trying to think of what we want to go for here. I don't want to go Goldengo because I feel like Goldengo is not living an Earthquake from this guy. The Draco Meteor on the Walking Wake might be our one option to this. Um, I don't think he's predicting a Dragon Attack by any means. Being Terra Water. Um, yeah, I'm going to just go on a Draco. He goes slow king. Okay. I was a little scared there. I was a little scared there. Um, to be honest. We're going to get our Protosynthesis boost again. So we know Draco Meteor isn't going to do a lot. We definitely need to switch. Um, this isn't a great Tusk scenario. I don't know what he's going to go for. That was his Terra. I'm going to go Goldengo, but I don't know. He goes Alolan Ninetales. That was a very good switch in. Um, I want to say he's he could go Skelkridge. And if he does, we want to go Shadow Ball. Um, he's definitely going to predict a Steel Attack here. There'd be no reason to stay in. Um, I'm going to go for that. He does actually stay in for that. Wow. Holy crap. Um, I feel like predicting a Pokemon is impossible when you're Jam 2 by 1. Um... It just really is. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to lose Goldengo right now. I I think I'm gonna try to sack Great Tusk. Um, he actually goes say Titan, so kind of sucks for us. He's got the uh, Slush Rush, and I think that probably will sweep us. Um, I'm gonna try to go Rapid Spin. Yeah, I think he just sweeps us right here. I don't see us having anything that we can possibly do. We're just going to take more chip damage when we have to tank an EQ somehow. We are a bulky build, but I don't think that's going to... Yeah, let's just forfeit. GG this person. Um, not much we can do there. Not much we can honestly do on a slush rush. Say Titan on Terroir. So here's an interesting team. So with teams like this, Gliscor almost always comes out. It's always Gliscor, Raging Bolt. Both instances, Torkoal is still the way to go. Heat Ran would suck because it could possibly benefit from our Drought. But then we have counters like Walk and Wake. And that's why Walk and Wake is so good on a Sun team. Because even if they have something that takes advantage of it, Walking Wake can just come in and end that. So um, this doesn't have potential for Espeon, unfortunately. But it does have potential with, I think, Roaring Moon. He goes Gliscor. Now, the beauty of Gliscor is we have Will-O-Wisp. Uh, we just have to hit it. That's always the sucky part. Um... Because once you get off Will-O-Wisp, this thing's attack is not only have, but it's also not going to take that toxic damage anymore. They could go Protect. I don't think he's going to go Protect on a Torkoal, because at worst we have a Solar Beam, and it's neutral damage against him. So, I'm... Yeah, I'm pretty comfortable on the Will-O-Wisp. I don't want him to get off that Toxic Heal, because uh, Gliscor is just so annoying when you don't have an Ice-type move on the team, which we don't. Um, our actual main rank team does, but uh, this is not that, so... We're going to see what he goes for here. Outside of it, his team is... He could go Heat Ran right here, but I don't think he's baiting a Fire Attack. I don't think he's baiting a Fire Attack. Um, because in theory, this would be a very good um, switch in for him. Um, he goes for a Ground Attack. I think we more than tank it. He's got Blissey. He could, I, Blissey's also a potential switch in, which would be annoying on the burn. Because I don't really care if Blissey's burned. It would counteract any leftovers that it probably has. It's probably a calm mindset. That's just what's probably predictable. And um, 
Yeah, I'm trying I'm trying to see what he could potentially do. Because with that last battle, I think the thing was is we should have predicted what he was setting up. That he didn't really care if Ninetales went down. Uh, the idea was to swap, say, Titan. So trying to really think about it here. What could he do? What could he not care about really going down? Um, he is going to take forever to actually pick a move. So I don't know what's up with that. Um, if you're seeing this, he picks an attack eventually. And if you're not seeing this, and I eventually just skipped it. Um, that means he just doesn't pick any move, which is those, you know, okay, there he goes. He does go protect, uh, which is annoying, but he's going to get that burn off. Uh, does suck, but, um, we're going to, we'll get off stealth rocks. Um, we are going to live that. One thing I love about Torkoal, it always just lives in attack. It doesn't need a focus sash. Why would it? I don't think he's going to protect right here. He very well could, but it would be kind of useless. So I'm going to just go for the overheat. He is going to knock us out. I almost guarantee it. And we will still get a free swap into, um, trying to think what we want to go into. Roaring Moon wouldn't be bad to set up here. Usually when they run Earthquake, they typically have Toxic too, which is something I do have to consider. I don't want Roaring Moon to be Toxic. And, um, it actually really can't do anything against Heat Rain. Even on a setup, Heat Rain is just so tanky. I'm, I'm really trying to think about what we want to do right here. Um, Espeon could set up, but like I said, Blissey is the big issue. With Blissey being right there, even a time six uh, calm minded store power is just not going to put in the work. And I guarantee you he's got toxic. Um, since I've started ranked, one thing I have noticed is the bottom ladder is so focused on stall and just toxicing you. I didn't mean to click room in. That was a mess up. Um, it's fine, I guess. I'm just going to go dragon dance. So he's probably going to go toxic on us. And I don't have a swap. And I really meant to go. Um, I could go Espeon right here if he goes for Toxic, which I think is what he's going to do, but um, yeah, he just goes Toxic. I've learned that the lower ladder is so annoying with stall. Like every set, it's like every other team is just a stall, um, get crap going, do that stuff. There's our Protosynthesis. We could honestly, um, he's going to have some Protect stuff. Let's just go for it. Let's just Craps and Giggles this match. Yeah, there's the Protect. It's always the Protect on the second turn. I don't know why I don't predict this the first time. Um, like I said, they always run protect. So once you go, um, he is gonna swap right here. I'm trying to think into what, probably heat ran. Um, even on heat ran, I feel like crunch, crunch is just a safer play. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Um, this is not gonna wanna tank that well at all. It is just gonna go straight down. He's probably gonna go Gligar here and just try to, or Gliscor and just try to get off of protect. Um, we really have nothing to lose. We go Dragon Dance. Well, he can't... Literally, all he can do is go for that. Yeah, he's just going to protect. Um, we get at least one more turn. Um, there's nothing he can do about it. He's not going to live. He's not going to live a crunch from us. Um, he's going to go Pre-Marina. Um, Could have went for Acrobatic. That should still do a lot. That just straight up knocks it out. Yeah, that's insane. That's some insane damage. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I was going to say, that's the thing with these bottom tier teams is I'm not dogging them, but it's like, it's all stall and it's just very annoying. Like, it's no, I feel like there's just such a lack for um, strategy outside of it. And it's something I've noticed. We were talking about it on stream. I was like, I can't wait to just be out of the tier because it's so stupid. It's just so dumb. Um, he's definitely going to go for something to where Flamethrower won't hit it. We could honestly Hydro Steam, but he also could just be going for a straight Grass attack. Yeah. All right, there we go. Um, we live that on eight. We are going to get that flamethrower off. I mean, I, like I said, I mean, it's, you can do it. It's just very annoying when it's every other team. And it's just something I've noticed since being on the ladder. So he goes for thunderclap right here. I almost guarantee it. Um, I kind of don't want him to do that. But at the same time, walking wake just isn't that useful here. So I'm okay with us dying. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't really care if we live or die right here. Um, Thunderclap is a... Um, hold on. I'm, I'm going to use this Tracy. I'm going to use this Trace team. Future... Um, Thunderclap is special. Okay, so I just want to be sure of that. I don't use Roaring Moon, so I have no idea. We can actually go into Espeon right here. And since he's running special, we can try to set up. Like I said, it won't do too much. We do have the magic bounce, so Gliscor can't actually toxic us. Um, I do actually want to learn how much we will end up doing to a Blissey. Like I said, we are, um, this is, like I said, it's also typically Terra Normal. Just to get the boots, boost on the Weather Ball. 
that and fighting types just aren't going to go out at us, but um, ghost types will. So that's kind of the idea of this team, or this Espeon. Um, we'll see if we can't get an endgame sweep with it here, but I guess we will have to just wait this one out and see it. Um, he does go Blissey. He does go Blissey. He can't... I'm curious to see what this Blissey's going to do. I'm, I feel like he's going to try to get some Serene Grace on us. Um, he's actually going to go for his own Calm Minds. Wow. Um, I just want to know. I really, We do have one ahead of him. Um, he's going to go Seismic Toss. Probably bring us in the Salak Bear range, so just kind of let him do that. He's going to go for his own Calm Minds. We are two ahead of him. I just want to know. I want to know how much we're going to end up doing to this guy. Yep, there's Salak Bear. The Salak Bear range. Um, beautiful. We go for Morning Sun. We're going to get all that beautiful HP back. We're going to get all of it back here. And um, he's going to go for his own Calm Mind. We're going to go for our own Calm Mind again. We are just boosting up that stored power to heckin back. I think it caps out at 200. No, it doesn't. Okay. It does not cap out at 200. We're already maxed out. My bad. My bad game. That did 36. So I'm going to go for one more Morning Sun. Then we're going to store power this guy. He's going to go for his own. Um, we are one ahead of him. Let's do this. How much does that do? It does 57 to a Blissey. Um, that's kind of insane. That's a that's a Blissey. Just go for it again. He's probably going to try to... Yep, he's going to go for Soft Boiled. It's not going to matter. Um, he's not... Hmm. If he goes for it again, I mean, he's just kind of stalling it out. The inevitable. Yeah. Um, what do we want to do right here? Let's just keep going for it. If Seismic tosses his main attack, then... This store power could just knock him out right here. There we go. It doesn't. Oh, but he doesn't go for... Ooh, he doesn't go for soft boil. Go for sword power. Um, Raging Bolt probably comes in for a thunderclap. Not gonna let that happen. Yep. We're not letting that happen, buddy. Probably... I don't even know if it'd knock out from this range, to be honest. I mean, we're times. Look at that. Look at that defense. Yeah, he just... There we go. This is the end game Espeon. This is the end game Espeon. Okay. Um, so we got past that. Um, I'm actually kind of shocked Glyscore is the only toxic stall guy there. And, and, you know, like I said, I don't have anything against lower tier. I'm a lower tier player myself. Um, when I do teams like this, we do have our ranked series. But outside of that, I typically like to use fun um, teams like this at the end. But it's just, it happens. So this is actually a team where um, Espeon actually can put in a lot of work. Um, he does have the Dragonite with the... Um, does have the Dragonite, and that could be annoying with priority, but I'm actually just going to go. He doesn't have, like, setup, so I mean, there we go. He goes to turn A. That's interesting. Um, we will outspeed it, and frankly, we can get off a very strong knockoff right here. Probably goes for Fairy or Psychic Attack. Nothing I really want to swap anything into. Um, Goldengo would be an amazing one, but... I'm going to go for knockoff right here. I'm not really too worried about Torkoal and Rapid Spin just yet. Um, he actually goes double team. Yep. This is the kind of crap. This kind. Of, how did... He's Metronome double team. I was like, wait a minute. We're on OU. How do you... I was say, like, get that out of here. Get that Get that double team out of here. That's the only way to use double team in this chat. It's so funny. Um... Okay, so he's got a... He's going to go close combat right here. I'm just going to go Goldengo. Um, it might be predictable, but... He goes, it's a full metronome team. This is a full metronome team. Is it really? There's no way. Dragonite doesn't learn metronome. Should we just... Craps and Giggles go... Uh, just go make it rain. He's just take down. <laughs> oh, no. That's not good for him. That's not good for him. Um, there's no way. These don't all learn metronome. I don't think, right? I'm going to go Espeon because I'm actually curious. Is this, an, is this a full metronome team? This is literally a full metronome team. This is literally a full metronome team. Wow. Um, I don't even know what to say to that. Uses agility. He went Stellar Terra um, on the agility. That's interesting. Okay. Um, this is just a full metronome team. We're going to tickle that back, lower his attack, get our boosts up. It's like Espeon was made for metronome. It's like Espeon was made for metronome. Gigaton Hammer up at our Salak Berry. Okay, okay. Um, definitely Choice Scarfed. Um, definitely Choice Scarfed. Let's go Morning Sun. 
Ah, uh, <laughs> he knocked us out too. Yo. <laughs> oh my god. Um. Oh my god. Uh, crab, dude. I'm gonna go walk and wake. I don't even know. That's so funny. That is so funny. Okay. Um. Just flamethrower right here. Metal sound. Lowered my special defense. That's such a fun team, though. That's such a fun team. I, I have to give I have to give him so much credit for that. That is such a fun team. He has Ice Shard. He's actually getting some good moves too. That final gambit was insane. That was actually an insane. I, I took me a second because I was like, wait a minute, we should be faster. And like, no, we're not. Let's go Draco Meteor. Just get him out of here. Uh, we're not going to get him out of here, but the next one will. Metronome, Hyper Voice. Such powerful. He's actually getting really lucky on these metronomes. He's actually getting super lucky on him. What can I say? Um, we'll go for Skull. Just burn him. Not that it matters because he's metronomed, but put him on a timer. Fissure. <laughs> There's no freaking way. Um, let's go Great Tusk. Holy crap. He goes metronome. Gravity. Earthquake. Um, I think that just brings all... Oh, crap. Yeah, I think that's fine. Though. We're fine. Um, he's going to miss ball. And we're just going to... We're just going to earthquake him out of here. So that's an example of a fun team, you see. That's a fun team. Um, that's just fun. Um, I, You know what? If I had lost to that, I wouldn't even be upset. Um, that final gambit on the Espeon was hilarious. Though, frankly, I feel like he could have went for... He could have gotten another attack. That double team on the Hiturne was so confusing, too, because I was like, wait a minute. Because I didn't see the metronome at first. I was like, double team? Wait, what? We're... So at first I, I thought it was Taunt, and then Double Team, and I was like, wait a minute. No, this is Metronome. What is going on? But that was a fun team. GG to this person. Um, wish we could have seen Espeon put in the work, but that is perfectly fine. Um, we did get to see it do kind of an endgame sweep, so I'm not too upset about that. I'm not too upset about that. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what teams you'd like to potentially see me do, and let me know... Um, any theme teams as well, as you guys saw, we have the Tracy theme team coming up. But any other theme teams you'd like to see, let me know in the comments. Check out the links in the description. Check out Discord, Twitter, all that fun stuff. Your boy Jim is signing out, and I hope everyone has an awesome rest of your day.